Hello, welcome back. Today I would like to introduce the recently released Z-Image Turbo Native Full FP32 Weights. The merging of the full precision diffusers has been accomplished by Capitan 01R on Civet AI using Pix Wizardry's merging code to an appropriate safe tensors file to use with Comfy UI. In this workflow, I have adjusted things and tweaked nodes to fit my requirements and also make it run on my 12 gigabytes card smoothly. After playing around, I initially find it very impressive. So, I have also generated images with the exact same prompts on Flux 2 for comparison. If you have the chance to test the workflow, please let us know what you think. Okay, let's take a look at the workflow. Let's start at the red node. If you like, you can take a look at the Civet AI model page and read more details about this model. You can also download the original workflow from here. The diffusion models can be downloaded from these links. I have also included the BF16 link just in case. The models go into their respective folders in Comfy UI directory. Next are the text encoder models. In this workflow, we will be merging two of them into one, then feed them into the clip text encoder node. The reason the workflow uses an additional clip is that it gives more fidelity. If you wish, you can use only the main clip. I have included both the safe tensors and GDUF versions here. As for VAE, you can also use any of these two. But I use the Ultra Flux version for sharper details. Next is the model loader section. Load the Z Image Turbo native FP32 weight in this node. Use the settings as shown. I have also included two LoRa loaders for your convenience. You can test out the LoRa's trained with AI toolkit with the full precision weights in this workflow. It should give a sharper and more consistent generation. I haven't got my LoRa's trained in full precision yet, and that will be my next project after this. We use these three nodes in light blue to load our clips and merge them together. I have tested and it works fine when I mix GGUF with safe tensor files in these loaders. Here we set the merge ratio between the two clips. I will leave it at the default value of 0.85. Then we load the VAE here and set our image size here. I have tried 4K but did not give good results, so I will stick with 1080p, which gives me best results on my setup. Down here I have included several test prompts. You can just drag the output connection to the false labeled connection at the prompt source switch. So, if you want to use the text encode prompt input, just switch this to true. Otherwise, select false if you want to use the prompt list here. I will do a demo run, so I turn the switch to true to use this prompt here. Then, the prompt you choose will be fed into the encoder node and subsequently into the sampler. We will use the clown shot K sampler as per the original workflow. If you do not wish to install any new node packs, you might be able to use the ones you already have installed but settings might be a bit different and might lead to different results. These settings, I find them to be the best so far, may need more testing. Here are my test results on my 12 gigabytes card. They are about two times slower than the 24 gigabytes card, but not too bad. I have test run these generations earlier at 1080p. It altogether took me five and a half minutes for this batch of five images, roughly 63 seconds per gen. Lastly, here are the VAE decoder nodes. If you have low VRAM, try the tiled VAE decoder node. Just drag this connector from here and connect it to here. Okay, now a quick demo run using this prompt. I have done a few quick runs with different schedulers, and here are the results. Okay, 
I really hope you like this video. If you do, kindly give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and have a good one.